Hi, uh, it's the action artist, and I am live, and I, uh, I'm basically working on my comic right now. It's Sunday. I don't have a lot to do. Uh, I don't think. Hang on. Let me check and see if I got any messages here first. Doesn't look like it. Nope. All right. Good then. So basically, um, what I have going on here is I found this page. I've been digging through my stuff and I found some more pages, and I'm really glad that I did because uh, I knew I threw this page. And um, I want to get into it here. Basically, uh, so here's a page uh, after my character. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, my uh, this is my comic book right here. The name of the comic book is called Nut Job. I have it on DeviantArt. You know, it's pretty much copyrighted. It's on DeviantArt. It's all documented. I can, you know, I don't think anybody's going to rob me. Uh, I have, it, you know what I mean? I have, uh, I can go pay the $300 for the copyright. We can get into that, but I don't think anybody, I don't think Marvel or DC is going to rob me of my comic book nut job because uh, I'm doing it on YouTube too. I'm just documenting all of this, you know, and uh, what we're talking about is sexy females and I want to show you just this horrible, horrible uh, drawing I did. I mean, it's not that bad, but I just overdid it. I was I was practicing a lot with my inking, and I just screwed it up. So that's just absolutely horrible, really. She looks like an absolute crackhead, right? And I do have a, a crack a part in my comic book. <laughs> where Nutjob does smack this crackhead chick right in her face, basically. But I don't want this reporter to look like a crackhead. And uh, basically, uh, what, after my character, um, the main character, uh, his name is, uh, well, I don't want to say his name right now, but my main character, Nutjob, um, basically the character that this comic book is about, it's a very... Uh, like kind of like Charles Bronson, uh, vigilante type character, but he takes it way further than Charles Bronson uh, because the corruption is just so systemic that he like basically declares war. Uh, so um, here's the page where after he uh, goes after this um, corrupt cop in his town, uh, of course, if you know anything about um, how, you know, reality works, uh, his, the, his, the next day his town goes on lockdown. And um, basically the police go door to door. And, and, you know, and this is kind of an incident like the Boston bombing, uh, you know, where they locked everything down and, I was influenced by some of the stuff that took place in Boston after the Boston bombing. And so here's, um, here's, uh, this page that I found where SWAT team, basically a SWAT team, you know, I'm going to, this probably takes place in sort of the near future. Um, and basically Marshall law has been, uh, declared. <clears throat> so I'll, I don't, you know, this isn't going to be the actual, like, you know, like the SWAT as they are right now, it's going to be some like future, more a little bit more in the future, you know, like mercenaries or something. And um, and basically, so here's the SWAT team coming in in a big armored vehicle. I'll, I'll hold that still so it can focus or whatever. And I'm shading that right now. I get I get a lot of my tips from Ethan Van uh, Shiver is his name comic pro artist secrets or whatever and as you can see i'm doing if you look really close i'm doing it's not very light in here i got problem with this you can see i'm doing some cross hatching on the on the uh 
I'm doing so, I'm doing like a core shadow uh, on this because uh, the background is the sky, so the light's kind of coming from the background. And I'm doing some cross hatching on this uh, armored personnel carrier. And I'm doing uh, 90 degree, like straight, like kind of straight down. And then, you know, and then it, like as if I had like a horizon line on the, you know, within perspective, then I go across that way. So it's pretty much a 90 degree. And the reason I'm doing that is because it's metal. And so I want it to look hard. And uh, Ethan, man, one of the things that Ethan uh, talks about is one of the questions. He answered some of my questions on, on inking. Uh, and on, on hard surfaces like metal, like a jet or, you know, like an armored personnel carrier, you can do cross hatching, like just like square, you know what I mean? 90 degree angle. On flesh, you stay, you know, at uh, less of a, less of an angle. And I, and that, that one little tip alone just really uh, has improved my drawing a lot. But um, anyway, so... You can go check out his channel. Uh, I mean, he's pretty popular in Comicdom. So here's the new reporter. Okay. And here's the old one. And now I pretty much use my own drawing for reference, right? Uh, but this is paying much more attention to detail. Here's the Here's the SWAT. Here's a SWAT guy, and he's like, aiming a gun at a little girl, you know, and she's just saw like, hey, mister. She's like, I'm only, she's like, I'm only 12, you know. He's getting a loaded gun at her. And uh, then she's down here, this reporter, and she's looking way more sexy now, you know. Basically, I, I took some of the lines off her face, you know what I mean. And I was having trouble, um, I was having trouble really, getting the details and then I looked at this more and I had some of the ideas right like on her the way her mouth and teeth were and everything you know what I'm saying but I made I made her face look too much like a man actually and uh, and and so women you know look I round I rounded her face off more she doesn't have deep eye sockets men have deep eye sockets so, um, you know, I took away, and her nose is super small. You know what I mean? I made the mouth, her mouth very small, and I rounded very small kind of pointy chin, small neck. You know what I'm saying? I can sketch. I can show you how to draw women. You know what I mean? I, uh, but she's covering this live. You know, she's got a, a very worried, kind of concerned look. She has a concerned look on her face. This guy's just had enough and he's just like you know uh praying to god and his prayers are answered right here -da -da -da. when a uh, nut job shows up and here's an old sketch of uh so basically um uh basically after so let, let me see so after this scene here Oh, uh, let me see if I can find it. Where I was working on it. Working on it last night. It's right here. Don't worry. Got it. Here it is. Okay, so I'll just kind of connect the dots more because you'll see this how the story's evolved, evolves, how it just gets it gets more ridiculous. I want it to really. I haven't climaxed it yet. You know, it's like building up and building up to climax. You know, he attacks. Uh, he, 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 he serve. He basically serves. He uses force against a corrupt cop. He uses force against a corrupt cop. Everybody knows. You know, you, you, that's a big no-no. But he does it anyway. And uh, so he runs home after this. And. Uh, he, it shows him taking off his clothes. I already showed all this. You know, here's the old page, right there. There, here's the here's the new page. I like the new page much better. You know, 
but less shading. I, I, I made this too dark, went too dark with it. This less shading. So uh, basically, you know, easier on my inker, easier on everything. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm breaking down, I'm breaking down like, like this is like, you'll see, you'll see some Bernie Wrightson. See the Bernie Wrightson in my style when I was young, I really liked Bernie Wrightson. So I'm doing basically, she almost looks like the chick out of Creep Show, actually. The, the, the one that gets eaten by the monster in the crate. She's like a super bitch. So, and he almost looked, he almost looks like her husband. Anyway, my point is, is you'll see Bernie Wrightson in here, but that's too detailed. I don't have time for that. I'm poor. If you're poor, you got to work. You got, you got to find out how to cut corners. I'm giving you all the tips. So what I do did here is I sim I, I really simplified. I really simplified and, uh, Oops, I'm crinkling up this paper. I want to do that. I very, I really simplified and kind of cartooned up the character a little more. It's more, a little more cartoony, not as much detail. You know, I, I got to save time. I got to save money, right? See her? Very cartoony. I'm not going real. I'm not going super realistic. I'm going, I, I've cartooned up my style a little bit. Uh, you know, cause I got, I want to, um, you know, I, I got to, uh, conserve, I can't, you know, I don't want to get too detailed, but I want to keep it simple. And, uh, so there's that, but anyway, yeah. So nut job comes to the rescue now. So he goes home and he finishes up his armor, this armor right here. So he goes home and he finishes up this armor. I know it looks like alien, right? See how it looks like alien? You know, whatever. I'm just being an artist. I'm, it looks Japanese, or you know what I'm saying? Let me show you the new. Let me show you the new design. Do I have that sketch here? Too. I, I mean, I know I do, but we got a stack. I got a stack of stuff, man. This, You know, I wanted this thing to look kind of sci-fi, the suit of armor that he uh, engages the uh, police with. Just, it's like just creepy, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Make it kind of creepy looking, like if you encountered it in real, real life. That's kind of a psychological tactic. Uh, well, I have this sketch of it right here. I guess I need to show this. So I don't feel like looking for it forever here. Oh, here it is. I got it. All right, cool. So here's the, here's the armor now. Still very Japanese looking, right? It's got, but he's got like, it's got guns, guns on the arm. He's got, a, it's like a frame. With these like disc joints, that, with like bearings and you know what I mean, and like uh, it's like titanium, and this goes into a mechanism with mounted on the back. This is just to hurt his enemies. All these spikes are just to hurt his enemies. Uh, this is a, this is a tube-fed magazine, so he's got two more tubes of rounds on his arm right there, and uh, you know it, it makes him taller, bigger. It's, it's it's bulletproof. It's fairly bulletproof, and uh, allows him to run faster. Allows him to lift like he could. He could kind of like pick up a, a you know the front end of a car and and you know move you know move the car around. He could probably tip over a small car if he wanted to. Oh, somebody's here. Hold on a second. I'm gonna have to cut this short. I'll uh I'll get on later.